hello everyone thanks for watching my videos and uh, if you have not yet subscribed I would ask you again to please subscribe to my channel so I can make more advanced videos uh, today what we're gonna look is uh, look at is UI tab bar controllers now you might have seen uh, some application like a phone application which has uh, at the bottom it has contacts it has uh, recent calls there's a tab bar black tab bar and uh, that has a bunch of different tab bars and uh, tabs in it so you can uh, we're gonna make something like that using first uh, let's say let's make a new project and tab bar application so what does this tab bar application give us by default what does the template give us let's create one and look at it so as soon as I create it I run this application so what we are going to get is two tabs first tab and second tab so this is a tab bar controller with two two different tabs so how does this do it let's go and check it out so first there is a tab bar uh, app delegate and uh, we have a UI tab bar controller defined here which is provided as a root view controller to the window so it adds the tab bar controller to the window and what is the tab bar controller has let's go and check it out yeah so the tab bar controller has a tab bar at the bottom and it has two view controllers that it's linked to so this is how you do it using interface builder you can just drag and drop another tab bar item here just by looking at tab bar item and you can add another tab bar item and call it say third and if I run this application you will have three one first view second view and third view this is what we'll create here. so this is how you make it using interface builder now let's check it out how we do it using well, how to do tab bars programmatically so I make a new project I call it window based application set tab bar code so once I have that I'll create the project and now I'll go to my files and first we need a UI tab bar so I make a UI tab bar controller name it tab bar equal to UI tab bar controller allocate and initialize so I have initialized a tab bar now what does tab bar need it needs different tabs so how do we give different tabs to a tab bar we, uh, what are tab bars tab bars are pretty much different view controllers so we go here we create a view controller and we call it first view controller controller once I have the first tab bar con uh, first view controller uh, let me go ahead and give it a background color so we know which one or uh, is which one so it's self dot view dot background color equal to color red color and let's make one more with blue color the view controller with blue background so say second view controller once it creates that I'll go to again view did load uncomment it and say self dot view dot background color white color blue color so we have two view controllers one has a red background color and one is a blue <laughs> blue so first thing I want to do is I want to import these files inside my uh, app delegate file so first view controller and second view controller since I have both of them now I have to make an instance of each of them first go to first view controller allocate and initialize and same thing for second in view controller second so I have two view controllers and how do I give it to the tab bar that you do it by saying tab bar dot 
view controllers if you see it's gonna accept uh, NS array so I have to make NS array array with objects first is the first view controller and second is the second view controller so we give the two controllers and then lastly we just need to add this tab bar to the window by saying what root view controller equal to tab bar so once I do that if I run it it opens up window with a so we have two tabs but if you see there's no name to the tab bars so what I can do is I can just say first dot tab bar item dot title equal to first similarly for the second one I'll say second tab bar item dot title ik to second now if I okay there's no semicolon we done it again and there you go first and second now how do we add images to it images is very simple again tab bar item dot image equal to whatever image you give uh, so that's how you add images at the bottom and that image will come up over there right now I don't have any images with me so I will not be going through that so this is how you add tab bar controllers and you can have as many as you want I can just say want it again and again uh oh there's some problem let's run it again so there should be first second at the end because it adds the first and second to the next part not to the first part so you can give these view controllers only once since I have only initialized one of them if I go ahead and make a bunch of them saying first one and second two and give it here first one and second two and run it so now we'll have first second and two more since I didn't give the name here I didn't copy everything properly so I didn't give the name should be called first second first second first second first second but if you have more than say five if you have five it will work fine it will show five tab controllers let's call it three three and three three let me just comment this one for now to show you how it works when there are five so this is how it works when there are four one two three four oh I didn't give it to the controllers first three so now there are five controllers inside one two three four five now if I uncomment the sixth one and give it to it see what happens second three uh, mistake so if I do that I see this automatically uh, what app, what Apple's tab bar controller does is it automatically adds the more tab bar controller if you click on it the rest of them first second third fourth fifth and sixth come in the in this tab bar controller and if you want the user to modify it he can actually move things in the order they want they want it using this mm. so that's that's how this works and uh, that's all about tab bar controllers if you have any questions uh, please post below in the comments and uh, I'll get back to you it's the earliest convenience thank you